Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So let me start by apologizing for the audio. Uh, at this stage, I really have no idea what's going on. I know I've replaced just about everything except for the camera itself. And I really hope that's not next on the list. Um, but I'll keep fighting through the issue and until I get her fixed. So the drawer side cabinet is, is pretty much all complete and set in place. I'm happy with how that turned out. We're going to go after this door next. Uh, and I've milled up some stock ahead of time. It's all just a little bit oversized. Um, but we're going to move over to the table saw next and get the grooves in it for the panel. And then we're going to miter the corners. Uh, and I might throw some splines in it. And I, I don't know. Um, it's pretty light use cabinet. Um, so I don't know that it... It needs a lot of reinforcement, but uh, it is still shop furniture. Hinges are just going to be simple bud hinges from the big box store. Uh, it, like I said, it's shop furniture. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, going to get over and start cutting the grooves in this for panels, and then setting up for miters. And hopefully, before too long, here we'll have a we'll have a door in here, and we can move on over to this side and start working on that pull out. Okay, so I've got my standard blade in, and I've set it for around half, and I'll bump this way to get my test piece to fit. Um, and my depth is about 3 eighths, I could go a little bit more, uh, but I think that that's sufficient for this panel and this light duty door. So I'm going to run all these pieces, and then I'll make an adjustment and run the final group to fit the test piece. picture frame sled to cut all the miters. Uh, there is a preset of plans for this sled uh, on my website. Um, otherwise, you know, cut, cut the miters however you would normally cut them at the chop saw or, or you know, maybe you have a sled for it, a cross cut sled with, with the angle. The anchor Mach 5000 comes to mind. Um, however you cut your miters, that's, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, and this is why I really like that sled. Um, I just got a dry fit, and my corners are, are perfect. Every one of them is just absolutely spot on, uh, and it's nice and square. This allows me to go ahead and get my measurement for my center panel, um, and my grooves are all 3 8 deep, so I just take an inside measurement, add my 3 quarters, cut my panel, and it should fit perfectly, and then I'll get this thing all glued up. Okay, and there's the door all glued up. Just gonna let that cure, go have some dinner, and uh, maybe we can start on some hinges tonight. Okay, I used a marking knife and marked the locations of my hinges. I've also set up my little trim router with a spiral bit set to the depth of that. I got all my lines marked in here. I'm gonna go ahead and route these out. And then I'll clean them up with a chisel and we get some hinges mounted. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to use a VIX bit to locate my pilots. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a little wax. And I'm going to drive these screws by hand. Last thing I want to do is split that walnut. Ok, 
get the other one installed and then I will mark and route the locations on the frame the same way that I did these um, just a little more awkward position um, but the locations will come directly off of this okay so there's the door in um, the, the whole cabinet is still a little bit unlevel so that will help out a lot on this door and I'll get a, a stop lock put in here tomorrow with a rare earth magnet on it um, I still have to pull the door off, do a sanding on it, get finish on it, etc. just like that. Um, but yeah, the door is hung. So I'm happy to make that progress today. When I come out in the morning, we'll get going on this pullout for this side. Okay guys, it's time for that vertical pullout. Um, as you can see, I've got some tools here. Uh, there's nothing great about these tools. They, they do the job. Um, and I'm not looking to throw them all in the trash, but I do have some other stuff on order and that's kind of a catch here as I'm, I'm taking off for work again here soon. So I, I need to get, I need to get this project done, but I also need it to be adjustable for the future or, you know, as new tools come in or tools change out, I need to be able to, to swap things out. So. It's essentially all going to start with a box, um, a drawer if you will, but it's a, a vertical, right? So um, we built lots of those, so there's nothing to show you there. I'm going to go ahead and, and build the box and then we'll figure out how we want to store all this stuff and, and we'll go from there. Um, like I said, the plans aren't even updated yet because I'm, I'm still figuring this out as I go. So let me build the box, and when I'm done, I'll show you what we got and hopefully have some better ideas where we're going. Okay, so there it is. I, I pretty much just built a box. I trimmed it out with a little walnut so it looks good. Um, and I had to put something in here in the top just to help tile this together, uh, but it couldn't be in the way for, for lifting tools out when I needed to. So, um, I, I cut the bulk of that away. It's all just glued and screwed together. Uh, just a box. The runners will mount on the back for the pull-out. Where I'm struggling was how to store the tools in there. Obviously, right now I have a, a collection of really two different sizes uh, on the handles, that is, and there's more on the way. So I had to, I had to do something uh, that was going to allow me to grow or change this as I needed to. So what I came up with was some small brackets um, and there'll be one down low towards the front and that'll be for these for the larger ones um, and they'll be able to lift out and away you go. Um, and then I also milled up parts for uh, one that goes higher um, which will fit these tools um, and they'll be and they'll sit to the back so their shafts or their, their actual cutting portions will actually hang just slightly below that lower shelf but they'll all sit on the ferrule so uh, is it a perfect solution no um, but it's going to work for what I have for right now and with the removal of a couple of screws I can change it in the future to accommodate whatever I ultimately end up with here at the lathe station so all I'm going to do is, is get these mounted in and get those uh, get the holes drilled in the in the shelf material that I made uh, and I've already measured them to fit each one of the ferrules. So I'm going to get those drilled and then get those mounted on these little brackets uh, and then we can move on to the runners. Okay, I'm going to install the upper shelf first because I made spacers so that I ensure everything gets nice and parallel in here. And if I mount the lower one first, that space won't fit. So all I'm going to do is pilot drill these and get these set in the cabinet. Okay, so I apologize for the angles. This is the hardest place in my shop to film. Um, I've set my fence for the depth in the board that I want. And this first one's an inch and an eighth. This is the, the bigger of those easy tools that I have and the rest of them are all 7 8 ferrules so I'll drill this bigger one first and I'll change it out um, and 
I'm only going to put two in this lower one. There's a lot of open board left here, um, so that'll either be future growth or, you know, if I change systems altogether, I don't have a bunch of extra holes down there. Um, but this will this will certainly work for what I have on hand, and we'll see what the future brings. Okay, so there's the tools all in. I haven't actually attached the trays yet because I'm going to pull all of that out of there. Uh, so just make it easier to mount this in the cabinet. So that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, I don't have any drawer glides long enough, so I'm going to run to the big box store and fix that problem. And I'll be back shortly to get this mounted in the cabinet. Okay, so the glide install is pretty much just like it was with the other cabinets. I mounted the first one on the bottom using my setback for my drawer front. Uh, the only difference with this being on the same side is I actually cut a square piece of plywood uh, and rested it on top of the first one. And this will help me ensure that these two glides stay completely parallel to one another. So I just clamped that in place, got my stop lock on the front, and I'm just going to screw that glide in place. And then we'll set the cabinet in there and start attaching that side. Okay, and there it is. It's all in place. Functions really nice. Um, I didn't get soft clothes with this one just because I was buying at the big box store and they're way more expensive. So, and I don't mind having to push this drawer in a little bit. Not a big deal. Okay, so there's this cabinet pretty much wrapped up. I still have to put the inner shelves back in it, but I'm gonna have to pull this door off to mount it. Um, but everything just turned out great. I'm happy with it. I did have to do a glue up for the panel on the front, and I just happened to have some walnut laying around where my grain matched up pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So let me get this mounted to the cabinet, and I'll show you where we're at. Okay guys, so there it is. It's all installed. Uh, it, it works it works really well. I'm super happy with it. Uh, all the tools are in there and you know the tools that are on order We'll just see you know what that what that means But you know to change out the configuration on the inside isn't really that big of a deal uh, Also behind the scenes. I went ahead and mounted a stop lock in the back here and put a rare earth magnet in there So this door now stays closed nicely that's going to wrap it up for this video guys. I apologize that this is going to move to fourth video, but this is just such a large project. I just couldn't squeak it all into just three videos. So when we get after it next time, we will definitely wrap this one up. I get the top on it. Hopefully the Formica will show up and, and I'll get it trimmed out and get the Tormek set on it and give you a nice tour of the station. So until next time, take care guys.